and Gina, and to my left is Jose. We're two relatively normal kids that got tired of doing relatively normal things and decided to make a change, a big change. Life is for living, they say, and no time is like the present. We knew that there were endless experiences waiting for us. All we had to do was get out from behind our desks and just go. So after a few years of planning, we bought a boat, quit our jobs, packed up our things, and left San Francisco to see what else this world has in store. We're excited to share with you what we've stumbled on so far. For the past few months, we've been sailing up and down the Sea of Cortez. We had no idea what to expect, but once we got to La Paz, it became clear that we were in for a real treat. But first, we had to get to know the locals. Here, just come up here though. Okay, I think it's your great. Here, just, just come up here with me. Okay. This is going to be funny. We're already recording. <laughs> okay. So, we're sitting here inside. We're very well protected. We, we have we have one guest in here so far, but we feel... Yeah, one's trapped in there. We feel very cozy with, uh, with that guy. I tried to snip at him with his scissors before. I think I might try it again. But the problem is out there. Let's take a look, a look out there. So we are not making honey. We are at war with the bees. Okay. Of course, they're all going to be gone. Uh, there's a couple. Ooh. Everyone has cleared out from the Anchorage. Oh my god, you can hear you them. Can you hear can hear them. Yeah. Okay, let's close. Close <laughs> that. Once that was under control, we started to have some real fun. We paved new paths in Isla San Francisco and made some new friends. another boat in sight. Had some unexpected visitors along the way. wind to make it to the most remote parts of the Sea of Cortez, but the fruit was well worth the labor. Miles of cactus forests ending on stretches of sandy beach, and a vibrant sea life that made Jack Cousteau call this the aquarium of the world.
were lucky enough to get up close and personal. came to Isla Carmen. What's that? Near a few hours from Loretto. Are you in Yeah. And a few hours. we swam, we snorkeled. I don't go back and forth, but it is fun. At a wreck, at a shipwreck. <laughs> and then we went fishing and we caught a couple of fish. Okay. And there's some people that are coming to talk to us right now. I don't really know what's going on. Anyways, that's that's what we're doing. That's pretty pretty. Right? You can't really tell, but it's very very cool. How you doing, G? A little better. Better look big on video. <laughs> We are pulling sails up, pulling everything out of the boat. Everything. This part's clean. We've, we've done that. That's 24 hours worth of work right there. We've actually got floorboards on. But as Gina says, the biggest casualty is the bottle of vodka that cracked. <laughs> anything in life, things aren't always perfect. But with a view like this, we can't really complain. Stay tuned as we make our way through Pacific Mexico and cross the ocean to French Polynesia. To see what we're up to day to day, check out couchsailors.com. Until next time. <laughs>